Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make peanut butter cookies. For this recipe, we're going to need half a cup of butter, half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and one fourth cup of sifted all-purpose flour, three fourths a teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. But first, before we get started, we need to do a couple things. First is washing our hands. The next thing we're going to have to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees. To do this, you want to click the bake button. Make sure the number goes up to 375 degrees, then press start. It should be on preheat. Now, let's get into the dry ingredients. Now, we're on to our first step of making the cookies, our dry ingredients. Our dry ingredients consist of flour, salt, and baking soda. First, you want to take a smaller mixing bowl. For, for this whole project, you will need one large mixing bowl, one medium sized mixing bowl, a smaller bowl of your choice, two spoons, two mixing spoons, a fork, and some measuring, some measuring spoons. First, you want to take, you want to get one and a fourth cup of flour. That was easy. To get the to, the, to get the exact amount, all you'll have to do is take the back of your spoon and level it. Quite easy. Let's dump the flour into our small mixing bowl. That step of the, dry, of the dry ingredients is done. Let's get on to the next. The next will be baking soda. For the baking soda, we will need three fourths of a teaspoon. You could use two. You can do, use two different measurements: a half and a fourth, or three fourths. I'm going to be using a half and a fourth because it takes less time. There's our half. Let's pour it in. And all we have left is a fourth. There's our fourth. Let's dump it in and get on to our last ingredient of the dry ingredients. Salt. For salt, we will need one fourth of a teaspoon. Be sure to clean out your teaspoon measurement cup from the last time we used baking soda. Here's the salt. Let's pour it in. Now on to our wet ingredients. The first wet ingredient is going to be peanut butter. You can use smooth or crunchy. I like crunchy because you'll get a couple peanuts inside of your cookies. You will need half a cup of peanut butter as your first ingredient. To get the peanut butter out, I suggest using a butter knife. That's half a cup, now it's time to put it in. You are going to need to clean out your half a cup of peanut butter because we're going to have to use this later in the video. Clean as a whistle. 
For the next ingredient, we're going to have to put into the wet bowl is butter. We're going to be need we're going to be needing a whole stick of butter. After putting the butter in, I suggest taking a rubber scraper and cutting the butter up or mashing it a little bit. Next, we're going to need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Time to dump it in. Our next ingredient is half a cup of sugar. Now that we have the sugar poured, it's time to put it into the bowl. On to our next ingredient, brown sugar. Here's our brown sugar. We're going to be needing another half a cup of brown sugar. Be careful. When you put it into the cup, you want to pack it down almost like a sandcastle. For example, now you can pour more in. That's perfect, that's about level. And now we can pour it in. To know you've done it right, it should come out almost like a sandcastle. Just like that. Your last ingredient is going to be an egg. I suggest, which is a tip that I learned from my cooking teacher, Mrs. Seville, to get a smaller bowl and crack your egg in it. So if any eggshell goes into the, into the yolk or mixture, you can take it out and it won't go into that and you'll have to be sifting through all your food. Be sure to wash your hands after you crack the yolk. I've checked this and there's no eggshells. Time to pour it in. Now you're done with the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. It's time to mix. The first thing we'll have to mix is thoroughly mix the wet ingredients into a cream. I suggest using a rubber scraper. Continually mix the mixture until you get something that looks a lot like this. This is what your mixture should look like. Now it's time to take the dry ingredients and slowly mix them into the wet ingredients. It should look a lot like this. When you're done stirring, it should then look like this. This is what it should look like when you're done mixing. I had to refrigerate mine for a little while, and you can do the same. Now we're going to go to rolling the dough into balls. My family has a little bit of a twist. We like to take the dough and put it into a sugar and then put it onto an ungreased pan. I think that the sugar gives it a nice texture and a nice taste when you're done. I'm going to show you guys an example and I'm going to cut to where they're all finished and I'm going to be putting them into the oven. You want to get around this much cookie dough, put it into a ball, as close as you can get to a ball, and then roll it in the sugar like this and put it onto the cookie sheet. Then you want to take a fork, push down this way, then push down this way, beginning next. It's okay if it comes apart a little bit. It'll still be tasty in the end. I'm going to cut to where they're all done and I'll see you guys then. Now we're going to be putting the balls into our 375 degrees preheated oven. Your oven should be ready by now. Almost 
You will need to put the balls in the oven for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. Now it's time to take the cookies out and let them cool. Now your cookies should be done. Thanks for watching and I hope that you guys enjoy your cookies. Bye!